Before the Labour Party came to power in 1997, they made a manifesto commitment to the electorate. In their booklet New Labour, New Life for Animals, they promised to set up a royal commission into the effectiveness of vivisection. Unbeknown to the demonstrators on the Speak National on the 1st of September 2007, Felix was already dead. He had been killed by Oxford University in June 2007. This information came to light after another campaigning group requested information about Felix under the Freedom of Information Act. Today is the day that Felix died. Nobody held him. Nobody cried. He's faceless, just a number, and no tears will fall. For in the lab, he's worth nothing at all. He was taken as a baby, just two years old, and put in a cage, trembling and cold. The white-coated technicians turned their back on his pain and he quickly realised that crying was in vain. His world is so awful, he's lonely and scared. He searches their faces for a sign that they care. But they ignore his sadness, his confusion and pleas to give him his life back and let him be free. What did he do? He can't understand. He pitifully tries to hold out his hand, but nobody takes it, nobody cares. So he sits in his cage and sadly stares. Another painful procedure, another day. He's pleading for this pain to go away, but they cut off his skull caps, put electrodes in his brain and injected chemicals into his veins. He dreams of being free in the wild. He's just a baby, just a child. His body feels weak. He's slowly dying. His pain is awful. He's silently crying. He wishes he was home, amongst his own, where the pain was gone and he wasn't alone. They are watching him now, all standing round. His head is down, and he can't make a sound. He rocks back and forth, this innocent soul, as the relentless abuse takes its toll. In his darkest hour, he prays for relief. As he sits in his sorrow, his pain and his grief, he buries his head under his arm and sobs. His heart is breaking, his body drops. This tender animal, in total despair, watched by technicians that just don't care. The days go by, 
and he can't raise his head. He suffers convulsions and his eyes turn red. His mind is broken. He is very near death. But they may watch and record as he fights for breath. His legs have grown weak. His throat's parched and dry. He's sick now for what they've done and falls with a sigh. He lays down his head and closes his eyes. Wrapped with pain and alone, he finally dies. Thank you. 